So I finally made it to Nottingham and I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little bit overwhelmed. Like I got here at like two, I had to stop on a motorway because my tire pressures kind of went a bit off. So I sorted that out, got here at two, it's now half three. That's how long I've been sorting stuff out for and like putting everything back where it should be. It's not perfect. I haven't actually had time to fully clean. Like I haven't cleaned the floors. I need to do the bathroom, we need to do the kitchen. Like I've got so much to do. But I'm just going to give myself a little bit of a break and I need to go in a food shop because my fridge is literally empty. Like there's nothing here and I'm starving. So let's kind of get out of here. It's kind of driving me insane and we're going to go to Asda. Because I do love Asda. I've got a superstar in me and it's like the best thing ever. Like it's so much better than Big Tesco. I'm at Asda um, and you know what I was going to say? Is that like, so I brought my drink hydrated queen because that is like a massive thing i was drinking like not even a liter a day and i'm pretty sure i looked it up and it was two liters you're supposed to drink so here i am do not think the trolleys here should have like a cup holder because i've seen when people you know in america go shopping at walmart or target i think it is target and there's cup holders for like coffee and i think oh, we should have that because now what am i supposed to do with this because i don't have a spare hand I also like to take my drink pretty much everywhere with me. So I don't really know what to do about that. Anyway, um, I've got a few things to get. So I've got, I'm doing a 12 hour tomorrow and another 12 hour shift next week. So I've got two shifts that I need to kind of like get food for lunch. And I was thinking about maybe making like a salmon poke bowl. And then I've pretty much got to meal prep for the next like five days. But let's go for a food shop. I've actually got a pound for a trolley for once in my life. I'm back from Asda. Um, let's just say that was uncomfortable. I feel like everyone was looking at me. Won't we do that again? Yeah, got a shop that cost me 30 quid, but I'm like, what did I spend 30 pound on? Still don't know, but I'm gonna show you everything. I got a little bit of an Asda haul. I got um some boiling the bag of rice. I said I've never tried this before, but as I said, I can't cook rice, so I'm gonna give this a go and see if that tastes any better. Then for tonight's tea, I got like a stir fry set, so I got the veg, the noodles, and then I got the sauce as well. I got a sweet and sour sauce. It was just a panic buy, but I'm not mad at it, to be honest. I got some potatoes, the sabre ones, and it was still an expensive shop. I got some lemons to make some lemon water. Got some carrots because I'm gonna attempt to make another Sunday roast on Sunday. Duh. I got some red onions. These are humongous, by the way. I got some tomatoes for my tomato feta pasta. I know that was a trend years ago, but I'm still obsessed and I think I will be for the rest of my life. I just got chopped up cauliflower and broccoli because I'm gonna do cauliflower cheese on Sunday and I use broccoli in quite a lot of things, but I saw this and I was like, perfect, because I don't want a whole cauliflower. So I thought this is a perfect amount of why I just end up wasting food. Bananas, got some bread and then some skips because elite crisps, honestly love got myself a pepper and tell me why these how many strawberries do i have one two three four five six seven strawberries cost me two pound fifty i got them because i got croissants to have with nutella and strawberries so that's the only reason otherwise i would have said no got some double cream for my pasta and got some eggs got some sausages for the sunday roast they're actually cumberland pork sausages never tried them got parmesan and some feta then i got two packets of rigatoni only pasta i will ever 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 use then i got vanilla oat milk because i haven't had this in a while and i'm back with my coffee machine so i'll actually maybe save some money mm, maybe not because i don't actually think i have a lot of coffee left i'm gonna have to go get that as well i think that's everything however they didn't have any avocados they had none that was what i was most looking forward to so i went to sainsbury's on the way home I got some avocados because they had some. But I'm so glad I've got everything done. I have actually just cleaned the fridge. Like, look at that spotless. It was so dirty. It was disgusting. I've done my washing. I've put everything away. I've been shopping. I've cleaned my fridge. I've still got to clean my bathroom, clean the kitchen, hoover. Like, I've just got so much to do. I've actually had to do adult life for once. It's, it's hard. Um, I'm resting you on an egg box. So uh, we've got up, it's a little bit later than we kind of anticipated, only because the heater has actually, not the heater, the boiler has um, given way. So um, we have literally no hot 
anything so we're waiting for someone to come around and fix it but we might just go out before and they can just do it when we're out because i'm in my productive girly era so this is a plan we're gonna go out we're gonna walk to town so we're gonna have a hot girl walk into town i need to go to primark because i actually forgot my comb and like all like my hair to do my slip back bun they're only cheap from primark i'm just gonna go get some more because i was gonna do a slip back bun today and i got a massive shock when i looked at my box and i was like i've literally left every single brush at home we're gonna go to a coffee shop i'm thinking maybe just going to Duncan and getting lots and lots of work done. I've got a brief try this weekend. First, I'm gonna fill up my water bottle with the ice and lemons and have lemon water. And I'm also gonna have my vitamins. Let me grab them. Vitamins, so. They're like the two born. I don't really like them. Water bottle, lemons. And then we're gonna give them a chop on here. And be aesthetic. Let's go. I'm gonna look up what lemon water actually does because I'm not gonna lie, I have forgot. I think it's your skin that it's good for. Lemon water aid, aids digestion. Oh. My grand got me these new ice cubes, like an ice cube tray. And it's like the long one. So you know like if you have water bottles that like have a really small cap you can't have ice cubes in, like these will always fit. Can I smell? Lemon. Slay. But it's freezing outside, so I walk through a little bit chilly. I'm gonna have to put like my gloves and my earmuffs, my cute little earmuffs. So, this is the outfit. I'm actually really warm now. Jacket is uh, out. So. Weekday jeans. Green Birkin socks. <gasps> So. I want this bag. So Harrison's got this bag. Well, Harrison saw a, a boy wearing like the same brand in Copenhagen. And then my mom got him it for Christmas. And I want this one, but I don't think they do it in a different colour. A North Face, Jumper Sisters and Seekers, pretty little thing. These are probably Primark. My Ugg Tasman's on. These joggers are from Motel. And now I'm feeling very warm. And I'm ready to kind of the day. Me and Harrison just got to a coffee shop called The Bowl. I got a vanilla iced latte, but I'm doing my work. I'm gonna start off with a research proposal. I've got a 750 research proposal brief to do, which I do need to get done like pretty much the majority done today. And then I've got editing to do for this video, which will go from Tuesday, my thumbnail, which, and I've kind of created this like the background for it. Um, and I think that's what I'm gonna go for. Hopefully you can hear me because the music is loud. The vol, if you guys want to try it, it's actually really cute. It's got a massive upstairs sitting area, which is so much better. Let's get this brief written. words done i'm gonna do more tonight though but me and harrison are gonna nip to asda he needs to pick up a placement like polo shirt that my mum ordered for him we're gonna go to asda i'm gonna get some flowers for my vase i need to get some hairspray i've got like a mini one which i'm taking to prague but you never know, got to be glued the yellow one i went to super drug in town today and it was literally completely sold out so it must be good because daisy louisa recommended it on youtube and i was like girl yeah, I gotta use that. So I've been using Alfie's for the past week for my slip back bones, but honestly, yeah, biggest lifesaver. Mm -hmm. Guys, I've literally just woken up. So I'm gonna make breakfast for me and Harrison. But I think I'm just gonna make us like a sweet breakfast and do us like croissants, Nutella, strawberries, lemon water. So let's go. I actually forgot about bananas as well. So I'll pop a banana on that. Even though it's kind of green, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit green. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven for two minutes just to warm them up and then I'm gonna cut all the fruit. I would make us a coffee but I'm actually going out to another coffee shop today to do my work. So that's the only reason why I'm not doing that. Right, these should be hot. Um, I can't probably could have left them in there a bit longer but 
it's ready i'm gonna really enjoy this i asked on instagram for a few questions do you meal prep for placement i'm a student parent find it really difficult i actually don't meal prep i'm actually really bad for not but i think my last placement I actually tried to like, I didn't really meal prep, so what I'd do is I'd wake up like 45 minutes before I was meant to leave. So I'd make like chicken wraps and then I'd put it in the oven and they'd take like half an hour to cook and I'd do that in the morning. So that's what I used to do. I used to get like, like breaded chicken from the shop, put it in the freezer and then I'd wake up in the morning earlier to cook it. So I said, how do you make your uni notes? So I make them on an app called Good Notes on my iPad. I looked it up on TikTok, you have to find text like your own text on a website and download them through settings um, but there's so many tutorials on TikTok that show you how to do that so that's how I do it I don't actually like write them so you'll write with your pen and then it'll change into the font it takes a while to get used to it so like my first couple of weeks in GoodNote my notes weren't the best after a few weeks you kind of get used to it and you learn like how you want to write your notes if that makes sense how do you deal with FOMO? fear of missing out I definitely said new year resolutions was to not let FOMO make me go out because a lot of the time I actually don't even want to go out anyway and we go out and then spend loads of money so you're probably not the best person to answer that question no that's a hard question New Year's, I Eve. Know. New Year's Eve we did it so me and Harrison didn't go out New Year's Eve because we were like we actually don't want to go out New Year's Eve always ends up being not a good night out you spend a million pounds so we actually stayed in and I thought that was quite good willpower from us I think it's quite hard to like stay in on New Year's Eve because it's such a big night out and everyone wants to go out. We woke up with no hangover, it was great. We went on a run. I'm the only friend that I've never, that, that hasn't I'm the only friend that has never had anything romantic happen and I'm 18. There's so many people out there that actually haven't. So I think Anastasia Kings off, I followed her for so long and she like always spoke about being in her 20s and never having um, a boyfriend. 18 is so young. Like 18 is so young. I'm guessing you're either like in the last year of six or in college, whatever. Like that is so young. You haven't even gone to uni yet. Like you've got so much more of your life. Like you've appreciated your high school years. Do you know what I mean? With your girls and with your friends. So I don't think it's a big deal. How do you get into routine and stay with it? I feel like you need to find a routine that works for you. Find a routine that's fun. Find a routine that you enjoy. Like I love like my morning routine i love it like, i don't really have a routine like as such i have things that i like to do in the morning which i enjoy so like making myself breakfast doing my skincare yeah i don't know you need to find something that works for you and then you'll enjoy oh, this is a good one what advice would you give to your 17 year old self okay we'll finish on this one so i think for my 17 year old self i would just say that everything will be all right i feel like at 17 everyone it's like a prime year to kind of like worry about your future worry about the friendships you're in i'm fine now like i'm literally so much happier now than i was then i'm gonna finish on that because my camera is flashing but thank you so much for watching everyone i'm so happy to finally be back doing productive vlogs i haven't done one in so long but they are my favorite videos to film so i hope you enjoyed see you next week